These are my favorite things. These are my favorite items of gear that I like to use and wear when I go outdoors. So I think this is a good time to make this video so that you can go out and shop for your favorite things or for the favorite things that you're going to buy for the loved ones in your life who spend time outdoors. Now I think what I'm going to do is start with what I wear on my body. There is a real personal thing because for obvious reasons. One thing to keep in mind is the seams. Now if you have flat seams those are the best. Seams that rise up a little bit too much will cause chafing and that's not what you want on the trail or for that matter on a mountain bike. So when you're looking for your ultimate base layer, your underwear, try to get a uh, like a polyester uh, that's breathable something that's comfortable but something that you know doesn't have raised seams. Now let's look at t-shirts. Uh, I know a lot of people uh, are getting into the ex officio and that's fine that's a good product but, but I'm a big fan of Terramar once again Sierra Trading Post. Now this is a Terramar t-shirt and I've got a lot of miles on this t-shirt. Uh, it's a hundred percent polyester and it's got a really nice uh, the weave is unique because it allows it to breathe. You can almost see your hand through the weave. And I like that being able to be breathable, particularly in the summertime. You know, I've worn this in Utah in 80, 90 degrees, and this is a really good t shirt for that. Now, this is the uh, Terramar, I believe this is the Helix. Now, this is the Terramar Helix in the long sleeve version. Once again, I, I love this base layer. It's super, super light, it's super comfortable, it takes the chill off, and it's good as a layering system. Now, if you'll notice, I have a video down below uh, where I review, in particular, the, uh, the Helix series, particularly long sleeve. I really love this. Now, there are tons and tons of hiking pants out there, and I've went through multiple different types of hiking pants, uh, both uh, regular legged and convertible. To be honest, my favorites are the North Face. Now, this is a uh, the second version. This is uh, the Paramount. Uh, I believe it's the Paramount Peak 2. And I like a convertible pant. I know not everybody is into a convert convertible pant. I love them though. I like having the ability to start out warm in the morning and then being able to zip it off and then stick it in your pockets or or have your hiking partner stick it in the pack if, if you've got that. So this is the uh, this is the second version and to be honest my favorite was the first version. I don't like the pockets where they are. The older version had a slash pocket. I like that much better. They're on the third version I believe which uh, is pretty much similar to this. but. This is just a uh, Polar Tech uh, power stretch. I, I believe this brand is, yeah, this is, uh, this is Black Diamond. Now, I'm not particular about the brand. I just go with what's cheap, and I look for Polar Tech power stretch. Uh, they tend to be the best, in my opinion. Uh, they tend to be the warmest, and they tend to last the longest, I've noticed. This is the best bang for your buck as far as being out in you know, temperatures around freezing or even below. So uh, I would go with a power stretch and you can get this, once again, anywhere. It's all about the price. The Enigmatic Buff. You know, I love buffs. I've uh, used buffs for a good number of years and they're my favorite because you can pretty much do anything you want with them. What I tend to do is you just use it as a muffler and if it gets real cold, I'll pull it up around my head. So, you know, and a little bit extra for my ears. Uh, this is a wool buff. They're a little bit harder to come by. And I've noticed as I was looking at this, I think I've got a little spot that, yeah, a little spot that's starting to, uh, to pop up near the end. But it's near the end. It's not near the middle, so it won't be as, as bad. Uh, I have several buffs. Most of them are uh, polyester. I prefer the wool buff for the winter time. Uh, primarily because it keeps me the warmest, I think. And I double it up. So I think a buff is really good because it keeps the, the cold air off the back of your neck. And that's the biggest reason why uh, I wear them. Well, 
Right now, I'm wearing the Arc'teryx Ferenc beanie on my head, and it's pretty good for weather like it is right now to keep me warm. But when it gets a little bit colder, I want to go with something that's a little bit, uh, a little bit more hardier, a little bit fleecier. Um, this is a little bit thicker. What this actually is, uh, I bought this uh, through Cabela's, and this is a uh, ECWS uh, uh, extended cold weather system. Uh, just a uh, fleece hat. Um, you can see Cabela's right here, and it's Polar Tech. So basically, it's the I think it's black one, the ones that they uh, they issue to the Marine Corps, and I just bought a whole bunch of them when they were super cheap. Uh, at some point, I think they were like five, ten bucks a piece. Just a good little uh, uh, military style fleece cap is one of the best things. Okay, gloves. Um, Gloves are actually kind of tough because I've got a ton of gloves primarily because it gets cold here in Ohio. Uh, and a lot of the places I go, I use them even in the summertime when I'm hiking and backpacking, you know, up in the mountains. Uh, these are the OR uh, 400 series gloves. And I like the thickness of these gloves. These aren't the thickest, they aren't the lightest, but the 400 series generally keeps me pretty warm. And I've experimented with what I need for the certain temperatures that I'm going to be in. Uh, having done a lot of uh, orienteering in the winter, these will keep me warm up until about 30 degrees. And it gets below 30 degrees, then I need to either throw a liner with them or throw over top a shell. So, and I've got multiple of not only the OR, I've got a few... Uh, uh, North Face and a few other brands, a few generic brands, but this is the 400 here is a little bit thicker than the Power Stretch. Now I have several Power, power Stretch uh, gloves which are great when the weather is just starting to change and they'll keep your hands warm but when there's a lot of snow and, and you're doing a lot of things where you're grasping or picking up stuff the 400 is a little bit better plus I think it matches up better with a, uh, a glove shell, so I, I think that's the best way to go. All right, here's the biggest controversy I think I'm gonna get out of this whole video. And that is socks. Socks, I think, are very individualistic, and depending on how you wear your socks, yes, I'm saying how you wear your socks. Uh, some people wear socks with liners. I did liners for a few years. It didn't work out real well for me, so I kind of went away from wearing liners. Now, the one thing that I did do is go from a, uh, a blend sock to a 100% merino wool sock. That I've stuck with. So I don't want to change beyond the 100% merino wool. Even when I work, if I'm not wearing a, a suit and tie, I'm going to wear 100% wool socks. When I go out and, uh, and hike, and when I go out and run or mountain bike, I'm going to wear 100% wool socks. I'm just going to wear the athletic size. Now, my favorite are particularly the uh, in uh, a moderate kind of temperature are the 100% wool uh, fit socks. These are uh, a company called Fits, and they're in an American company. And these are inside out, so you can't see the name real well. Turn these inside out. All right. You can see on the toe that they're FITS, FITS socks. And I started wearing these uh, when I was adventure racing. One of the uh, uh, companies that I raced with or did the races, they had these as sponsors and I started wearing them and they hold up real well. But the biggest thing is they fit real well. Uh, you know, they work on keeping the instep a little bit tighter and the heel and the toe are, if you can look, angled. They're not broad, they're angled. So it's a little bit better for your feet, I think. So I like the fit socks. They're really good. They're probably my favorite. Uh, I also have Wigwarm. These are Smart Wool. I originally started out with Smart Wool. It kind of transitioned to these. I still have a lot of Smart Wool. I still wear them. I still love them. I still get a ton of dog hair, especially on the wool socks. And these are .6. Um, I started wearing these .6 and I actually kind of like them. They're nice and thick. Once again, the .6 smart wool 
wigwarm and uh, the uh, fit socks. Uh, I don't know if I have any darn tough. If I do, I only have one pair. I try lots of different types of socks, but these are the ones that I generally run through. All right, now let's talk about footwear. Uh, these are two different types of boots that I wear. Now, to be honest, uh, I'm on my second pair of Zolos. Uh, I have these. I got these on sale for a good price. These are sturdy. Uh, you can wear crampons with these. They are a great boot that I really like. So I will wear these uh, in the depth of winter and when the trails are really tough. Um, you know, they're Gore-Tex. Uh, they're, they're fairly comfortable for what they are. This is my second pair. I did have the FSNs. Uh, I believe it was FSN 95. And this is a different model. I'm kind of going, running a blank on which model this is. But I transitioned from that model to this model. If you look at uh, some of the action in Afghanistan, you will see Special Forces guys wearing these Zolos up in the mountains. So, and once again, I've been wearing Zolos for at least a decade, maybe longer. So they're really good, high quality boot, and they will last you a good number of years. This is without a doubt my favorite boot. This is the Solomon X Ultra, and I am on my third pair of this boot. This thing is super light, it's super comfortable. Uh, the tread on it is really good. Um, I mean, it's black and gray. It kind of goes with everything. And it is Gore-Tex. Be honest, I wish they made this boot in a non-Gore-Tex version. That way I would wear it in the summertime. Uh, that way I've got a really lightweight boot that's comfortable, it flexes. The grip on this thing is super, I love it. Um, you know, I've, I have a review on this where I've reviewed both, uh, both series. I think this is the second series. I had two of the first series, and then this is my newest one, which is the, uh, the second one. Uh, love this boot. Super comfortable. I've taken a lot of places. Uh, like I said, the only thing that I have a problem with is that I think they need to make a non-Gore-Tex version.